weird to just be sitting down and talk to the camera for the first time now and it's five o'clock in the evening afternoon whatever the day wasn't supposed to be the busiest day but then I made it busy which actually made it less productive because now the things that I need to do around the house I have zero motivation to do I'm in full-on vacation prep mode right now just trying to get all the things done before my trip yesterday was a get your hair done day so I got twist in so those are all good for the trip tomorrow is a wax day wednesday is a nail day so the pink nails have to go i saw someone they commented on a video and they said i subscribed since i saw your nails and that did it for me because if i'm nothing else i may get your nails done girly today i got brunch with my friend kaylee which you saw and she was so sweet she brought and told the waiters to stick a 5000 number candle in my pancakes to celebrate me hitting 5,000 subscribers which thank you all for watching and subscribing I appreciate you guys more than you will ever know so brunch was amazing and but that was a long time ago that was many hours ago so I did just order some sushi for a late lunch early dinner I attempted to do a light grocery shop just to hold me through until I leave on Thursday morning the stores were crowded the things I needed weren't there and I didn't need to do like a big shop so it's like if that specific thing wasn't there I couldn't even like sub it out it was overwhelming overstimulating so I got the bare minimum and got out of the store did make a little stop to the stationery store to grab myself some things so I'll show you all what I got at Omoy if you are not familiar Omoy is like a I think the the name directly translates to like a life goods store but they have a lot of stationery products a lot of cute like home stuff just like general lifestyle goods so I got this Bagu tote bag I've been wanting this bag for a long time and there was a big Bagu sale like a month ago and I didn't get it and I wanted this specific colorway this is called tamarind but it's like an olivey green and I wanted the small size it's like a little like day almost like a little boat bag um and I wanted that specific one so I didn't get it when it was on sale and then I saw that Omoy had them and Omoy also had it for like 20% off so I was like oh seems like a sign I also got not from Omoy um another Owala bottle this is the free sip that they just came out with so it has like the cover and you can like chug or sit a good neutral colorway gets me every time I like that this one's a little thinner I think I mentioned this like two vlogs back they had that coquette 
blue Owala and I wish I would have got it because it was the cutest 32 ounce I'd seen. So I just keep like getting 24 ounces instead but I do like this and I think this will be good to like slip in the side of my carry-on for my Barbados trip. Didn't really need a ton of stationery. I really just left for the bag but I did get some other things at Omoy just to prep for my upcoming trip. I'll share the first thing which is not for my trip is this Tokyo Travelers Company insert. When the Tokyo collection dropped, I wasn't that excited about it, so I didn't get anything from it. And I also don't use Travelers that much because I just don't like standard size is a nice size for me. It's just not one that I've used a lot. I don't have a ton of like covers or even inserts, but I just thought that this red foil like oh my goodness. It's so pretty. It has like this really pretty texture. The actual insert is just like blank bright white Midori paper, which I love. I think Midori paper is really great quality. I have used Midori notebooks in the past and really enjoyed them, but I just felt like I saw it was the last one in the store and I don't really like the Tokyo cover. I thought it was nice, but it didn't really like because I don't use travelers that much. I didn't want to pick that up, but this insert was just like calling to me and then I know I just went on this whole little rant saying I don't really use travelers but for this trip I know I want to journal a little bit while I'm there and my journaling style has changed a bit so I decided I am going to take one of my travelers notebook covers so I got a short refill for or a refill for a short trip so it's like the quick trip refill this one is craft paper I think there's another one that's white paper but I didn't see it and the white paper one maybe the paper is a little thinner this paper feels like pretty good but I'm pretty sure this will still be fine if I write write with a fountain pen other things I picked up really just basically that was it and I grabbed this cute stationary day postcard which I'm sure is just leftovers from an event but it was like a buck or two and I was like oh this will be cute I think it would be it's about a six size so I could always put it in a cover and use it as like a planner or a notebook cover which I do often and then also by Midori a little Midori haul happening here they had these really cute sticky notes it has gold foiling on it and I love that like it's so pretty that has pretty much been my day I have been re-watching I took a break from making the team now that I've watched seven to nine seasons of that show and I've switched to watching or re-watching the old episodes of Teen Mom 2 I'm just in my little like I've seen the show a million times but I want to see it again it's soothing to me so I'm going to turn that on I ordered a mango salad which is so good and then a couple of rolls I got a salmon roll a oh no I didn't ask for extra wasabi spicy salmon roll and a salmon and avocado roll because the sushi place near me does a three roll special which we love so I'm gonna eat and watch tv and maybe after I rot for a little bit I'll get motivated to do all the other things I want to do because I want to start getting my clothes together and tidy up a bit in preparation for being gone for a few days. We'll start there. just listening to a crazy podcast episode whoo I will link it it was well yeah it's technically a podcast I, I've been watching the new evangelicals YouTube channel 
lately. He does really good commentary just on like politics and the conservative movements and like the, the true sinister nature of like the conservative agenda, the Project 2025 of it all. So if you're looking to just like hear more and start to wrap your head around that, I'll link that below. But this one was a doozy. I'll link the episode I was just listening to because whew, I really just like got started today. Like I had to jump into stuff. It's Monday. I have two work days before I'm out for vacation. I don't leave until early, like literally crack of dawn on Thursday morning. But Wednesday, I want you to be like a day to pack, finalize my bags. Like I don't like to be flustered before I leave for a trip. So I really just am digging into my work to do list. I even had to break out the time cube. I'll link this in the description. It's a Pomodoro time cube. So basically you take one of the sides, like the 20 minute side, and you flip it up and then it starts a 20 minute timer. So I'll do like a 20 minute block of work and then take a 10 minute break or a 15 minute break and then I'll go back or I'll do like a 60 minute sprint and a 30 minute break. So it's just a nice way to help yourself focus that plus the noise canceling headphones plus like a good lo-fi ASMR playlist and like a little study with me work with me video really helps me lock in so I've already checked a few things off of my list and we're making good progress I just made lunch I made a little burger with a ton of fried onions because I don't know why I feel like I needed that and some sweet potato fries that I low-key burned a little bit in the air fryer and then I just have like a little cucumber salad that I threw together to get some veg in. But yeah, I'm just taking a break to eat now. I'm going to jump right back in. I have a meeting in about 45 minutes. Um, and then after that, I have the rest of the day to just keep banging through my list. So that is the plan. Tonight, I need to go. I have a wax scheduled for 7 p.m., which I'll see how I feel about this later time after it happens. I've only just joined the wax gang. Um... And I see why you guys were so invested. And yeah, I'm drinking sparkling water. Plus I have my water bottle. So we're hydrated, we're nourishing, we're being productive. And pretty soon we'll be on vacation. We're doing the things. officially the day before vacation I am so glad I took off and didn't try to like work from home and think I was still gonna get stuff done for the trip because it wouldn't happen there's not a ton left to do it's just organizing my bag I'm gonna do one more laundry run because I want to wash all of my my comforter and my throw blanket so that when I come home from the trip I can just curl into a nice clean bed and right now I'm about to head out and go get my nails done. I think I have the vision for vacation nails. I saw this really cute ombre marble thing and these nude colors that kind of look like sand and I just think it's it's fitting. I think that's what I'm going to go with. I'm not going to get my nails cut down which is stressful because that means by the time I get my nails done again they're going to be so long and grown but... We'll deal with that later. So on the way to my nail appointment, I'm going to grab either coffee or a matcha just to get me going. It's a very gray morning and it's one of those mornings where I absolutely could have slept for like another three hours. <laughs> I already checked into my flight and nothing brings me more joy than having a boarding pass. I'm telling you, it's just like I was meant to have manicures and boarding passes not meetings and boardrooms like i just feel that about my life all right let's not be late to get our nails done let's go and grab some coffee too
everything is washed everything is prepped all I have to do is put some laundry away and finish putting things in my actual suitcase but we're just about ready to get on a plane and I feel great about it when I got home though I had a fun package waiting for me and I wanted to open it up with all of you so I placed an order with good ink impressions like a few weeks ago I feel like it came to have come all the way from I think they're based in either Germany or Spain I thought they came pretty quickly so because I've been doing a lot of common placing I ordered a few of their a6 Tomoe river paper notebooks I ordered them in a couple of different colors but um I got the white 52 GSM paper for all of them because that's honestly my favorite to my river paper. I know some people like the, I think it's either 68 or 62 GSM because it has a little bit less ghosting, but I don't mind the ghosting and I love the crinkle of the pages after you've used them. All right, let me not lie to you and actually read from my order form so I get it right. In the charcoal black, I got one 60 page, which is this thinner one, and one 160 page insert um this cardstock cover is pretty sturdy like it's definitely a cardstock but it's it's sturdy it's not like a like a thin like craft paper or anything and it has like a really sturdy like durable texture to it um the paper is just the bright white the grid i believe is five millimeters and i got grid notebooks for all of them you can see that's what the grid size is looking like and the grid color is like this light bluish gray so it's easy to see but it's not distracting oh my gosh i love these notebooks already and then also 60 pages i got the color i think it's called kiwi yeah so this like bright green not bright green but it's like a nice little green kiwi and then another 160 page insert in the color emerald same white paper also another book dart while we're talking stationery i did go ahead and set up a traveler's notebook for this trip this is the blue travelers cover that i bought oh my goodness like probably four or five years ago at this point um it hasn't gotten that much use it hasn't been on i don't think it's been on many trips yet maybe like two or three so it hasn't started to get much of a patina to it but it's really pretty it looks gorgeous in the sun and it just felt right for a tropical trip here's how I decided I was going to set up everything that's in here so in the front I have a little clear dashboard that I wrapped around my Hobonichi Weeks this dashboard is from Chic Sparrow and I wanted it because it's just like a nice little bonus pocket so if you want to put anything in, like if you're collecting receipts or stickers or just like little bits and pieces that you want to journal later but don't have time to stick them in now, they can get collected there. And then I decided to put my Hobonichi Weeks in here. One, I just like having a planner with me. Obviously, I don't need to do any planning while I'm on vacation, but it's nice to just have your catch-all just in case. Like if you want to document anything, write anything. I do a lot of my um, health tracking in my Hobonichi Weeks as well, so nice to have it all in one place this is also where I will do my um what did I bring list so I do these every time I pack because I feel like it's so easy to leave something at the hotel or leave something that you brought with you behind but if you write down the stuff that you bring you can at least go back and look and make sure that the stuff that you brought is the stuff that went back in your bag saves me from losing a lot of chargers a kindle the little things that get left behind and then I added that insert that you watched me get earlier in this vlog, which is that short trips craft paper insert. So this is where I'll be doing like the actual journaling from this trip. And then I threw that postcard in the back because one, it's cute. And also it kind of is thicker so I could use it as a pencil board if I ever need to draw a straight line or anything like that. All that is in here and it fits really, really well. I also realized I never showed you the finished product of my nails. I'm obsessed it reminds me of like the sand on the beach after the waves have hit it kind of gives seashell very dainty very demure not doing too much i love it <laughs> <laughs> 